Hey everybody, it is Andrew from IDB here going on with Apple's new video creating app, Clips. When you launch the application, you're immediately brought into the camera view where you can immediately take either a front facing video at you or a forward facing video at something else. You can opt between the video, photo, or library. Regardless of the media you're bringing in, you simply hold down that button, whether it's a photo, a video, or a library one, you just hold down that button to import it a certain amount. On the top of the screen there, you have these different options. First up are these really cool live titles that basically allow you to could do text to speech. So instead of typing something out, you just talk into it and it'll convert your text to speech and you can either do it with the audio or without. Then we have all these filters, a bunch of different filters here, some cool ones, some not cool ones, uh, just basic option of filters here. Then we have some kind of stickers that you can add on there, some little message bubbles, annotations, nice, all this kind of stuff. Some pull in location like Columbus there in that bottom left hand corner. You can swipe over and there's a bunch of emoji little things that you can add here as well. So we have those titles and now we have, these are kind of text screens, so full text screens that you can put in there um, and obviously you can customize the text once you do add them in. So I went ahead and started a project. I just imported a bunch of clips from my library of my dog here, some with filters, some without filters, but really just going through that same process of choosing a clip and then just hitting add to my little timeline here. Once clips are in your timeline, you can still go in and add filters to them. So I have my dog Dublin here. I want to add that kind of faded filter to it. Maybe I want to add some text to it so I can pull the timestamp in. And of course, it's pulling in from the exact time right now uh, that you're creating that video. So it makes it really easy to add things like at the moment that you're creating them. You can also mute the audio in both the audio from the clip and the audio that recorded if you did record some when you imported that clip. Then you can trim that clip um, if you pulled it in and it was too long or too short, you can trim it after the fact. Then you can tap that play button in that bottom left hand corner to kind of preview what you have going on. So that's kind of the high level overview, but there's a lot more cool stuff that you can get into in this actual app. I was kind of surprised about the in-depth things and the really cool, unique things that they had done, specifically those live titles I really, really like. The stickers are a bit simplistic, they're kind of cool, um, but I wish there was more options in them, which is something that can obviously be added more in the future as more people start to use this app and Apple start to put more updates out to bring more features. Another kind of advanced effect is they actually have a music library already built in. So you can use your music, which is great, but they also have all these different soundtracks that are all royalty free so you can plaster them on YouTube or whatever and you're not going to have any issues with them. So if you want to use something more free and royalty free, uh, a huge kind of library here of different stuff that you can pull in. So for, for my dog Dublin here, we're gonna do my best friend or man's best friend, seems appropriate. So we can kind of preview here, just tapping along those little thumbnails along the bottom, but I wanna go back to those live titles. So they work pretty well. I had some issues while I was recording them, but what's cool is they line up when the text appears to when you're saying the words. Uh, kind of most people see videos on social media and they don't necessarily listen to the audio, but they watch the video. So this is a cool way to kind of supplant those. So I recorded just, you know, look how small he was. So let's listen to that while the video plays. Look how small he was, exclamation point. So I know you saying the word exclamation point is not all that exciting, but when you're just looking at other text, it really works well. I like how you can sync those up together. Now, obviously, you can make multiple videos in this app. You don't aren't just stuck with one that goes away. Uh, swiping down from the top or clicking the little carrot there will show you uh, the library that you have currently open. You can preview it here on the bottom or tap that plus button to create a new one. Now, sharing is the big thing here because this is not a social network. You do have to take these videos and, and put them somewhere. And obviously, the share sheet does just that, allowing you to save it to your phone, uh, all your social networks. But this top one here is the really really cool one. So we're going to come back and look at that in a second. But you do have all your other options. So you can post to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, um, Snapchat, even just really any of the social networks that you would use, you can use this instead. But we're going to talk about that one option there for those, those little text bubbles going across the top to send to someone specific. We've seen this before in share sheets, but what's cool here is they kind of make recommendations based on who you've talked to. Now I just made a new one here said Beth wants this dog. I mentioned Beth in the recording, okay, you can see Beth wants this dog. And now when I pop up that share sheet again, it'll actually put Beth as the first recommendation because she is mentioned in this video. And I think that is really cool. This is the first time Apple has kind of used this predictive stuff for who to send something to. So it's just really, really cool. You kind of mention them in the video and it puts them in there. So let's go ahead and see what a video actually looks like.
look how small he was, exclamation point. So that is it, that is the Eclipse app. A really easy way to make videos. Some things can be a little bit confusing. The interface is a little dodgy at times, but overall just a really fun app to create videos to share on different platforms. Definitely has more features, even though it takes more steps to get to that point. Now this app is absolutely free, so I encourage you to definitely go try it and share what you create down in the comments below, as well as just letting us know what you think. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and until next time, this is Andrew for IDB.